This is Jeff with One Byte Technology, doing something a little bit different. Uh, I'm installing a Grom V-Line um, module in my 2015 Acura TLX. This adds Apple CarPlay to vehicles uh, that don't have it from the factory. Mine's off by a couple of years, so it didn't have that function. So that is what we're installing today. So the module itself is pretty compact. It's going to live inside the glove box and it uh, wires directly to the factory stereo so that I will have CarPlay access on my uh, upper monitor here. So here's the module. It's got a few wires that I need to tap into. Um, well, one, one that we need to, to actually tap into uh, for the reverse camera and the rest of them just have uh, plug and play. So I have to get this factory stereo module out. So the first thing you want to do is disconnect your battery. Uh, unhook the positive connection. I think it's a 12 mil. Just loosen, disconnect. Do that first before uh, taking apart anything with your vehicle's electronics. Okay, so the first step, I believe, are these two side panels can come off. Okay, I finally got this side piece loose um, just by prying from the top here. And then it actually came out quite easily. Prying gently and last piece straight out. Okay, so it's just clipped in there. You just have to pull it straight out. One done. Do the other one the same from the top here. Yeah, that was much easier. Okay, two are out. So you'll see along the sides here, there is one, two, three, four Phillips screws. And then apparently underneath here, there's gonna be some uh, bolts. So I'll have to look for those. I also have to get this top flat piece out. Just prying underneath from from the top of the side here and slide it all the way across. Let's see what's holding that in. More clips. Okay. So two clips, pull it straight up, and then it uh, it slides out. Leave that there. Okay, so there's two more Phillips screws at the top, one on the left, one on the right. So we can see that bottom panel, I just pried it out by hand, straight down. And now I need to go get a flashlight so I can see. Okay, so I've got my flashlight in here now, and now I can see underneath the stereo here. In there. there is a Phillips screw in the center. You can see that gold one there. Um, I don't see any other bolts, so I'm gonna take these out and then uh, we'll see what loosens up. Cup holders make a great spot to hold your screws. They also hold cups really well.
Yeah, last one under these. A bit. But it should. have to come at it uh, as straight as possible. It looked like it was in an angle, but it's not. Okay, so all the screws are out. Two on each side. Two on the top, one on the bottom. Moment of truth. Still feels pretty secure. Okay, so I got uh, this this side piece off finally with uh, brute force. Um, just had to pull up from I started from the back and now that it's out I can see these back clips are going at it at a bit of an angle so you can pull it I got a 45 degree angle out and then the front clips are going straight down so once you get to the front just pull it straight up if you can the other side here let's see if I can get it by hand Probably not. Just put my little pry tool underneath so I can get my fingers under it. really in there. Got one clip out. It seems to be grabbing. Oh, it's grabbing the side of the uh, this chrome piece here. We can separate that. that out. Ah, so there's a little clip. See that? There we go. There's a little clip here that fits under this piece. So I just had to fight with that. So watch out for it. There we go. So I just I just got my extension. I have an eight mil uh, impact socket here and uh, a medium extension, and it it goes straight up underneath the stereo. Uh, it's nearly impossible to get the camera in there to show you where it is. But if you stick your head in there and look straight up, you will see the bolt. Um, it's the only one in there at an impossible angle and it's going up into the back of the stereo and there should be one on the other side i haven't looked for yet uh, but that is what i'm going to try and get to and loosen here so 
what I did was pull out this this panel here. It's just got two clips. Pull it straight out, and that gives uh, much easier access to this these bolts. All right, so I've got my socket on the one side. So I can keep it there. Start to loosen. Now you don't have to loosen these all the way, just, just enough. It seems to be holding it to a bracket. So once it's loose, that will yeah, let it out a bit. You can see the whole thing moving there. All right, so I'm gonna hope that one's good enough and I'm gonna start looking for the other. Okay, so I've loosened both sides now. I, I was able to get my socket in up on the left side too, on the driver's side. Uh, a little bit more difficult, but I got it in there. And now both sides are loose. So we're gonna try and wiggle this thing free. There we go. Yeah, so it was that easy. Uh, there's a cable at the top here that is that is stretched. I'll have to disconnect it. Whatever it may be. This cable right here. All right, so now we have access to the back. All right, so the first cable to connect is the Hon. 3D cable this is the video cable. Uh, it looks like it's going to send the video signal from the Graw module into this thing. Uh, and it was just right here at the top. So you had to unplug, unplug what was there, plug in the Graw, and then it's got another one that you just uh, put what was plugged in there into. And so now they've tapped into that signal with this wire, which will plug into the Graw module. So the second cable we're going to connect is this guy, which they call MCFHA3. Um, this this is quite a beefy cable and connector, so I'm assuming it's what sends the video from the uh, stereo unit itself to the upper display. So um, it's going to be back here on the right, it looks like. So I'm going to get that unplugged. This purple cable that's loose here, this is going to go to the reverse signal. So when I go in reverse, it will pop out of uh, CarPlay and show me the reverse camera. All right, that one snapped in. All right, so after some Googling, I actually found, um, thanks to uh, Grom's own installation video for the RLX, that this tan plug here and this orange wire, this one here, that's our reverse cable. So that's what we're gonna tap into. Um, connect this purple wire to. So I can plug in this other cable. So this is our purple wire we need to Joined with that orange one, and they've provided a connector to do so. I just have to go get my wire stripped. Okay, so I've got my purple wire stripped, ready to go. All right, I've got my little red connector that Grom provided. And gosh, I hope I don't drop this thing. 
but it's gonna go around the wire like so and then this just screws on over top it's got a little um, blade on the inside which once this is tightened it's gonna cut into the orange wire and make a connection with it Okay, so coming back to this connector, um, there's a second piece that comes off the end here. So now I can get my purple reverse wire connected. There we go. Focus. That. All right, so the second Second part of this piece, you just slip the purple wire through. Okay, so that's through and now it gets inserted and tightened into that. I don't know if I can get it on camera. Maybe we can. There we go. All right, she's in, it's solid. So that part is done. So, um, routing through the back here into our, into our dashboard on the TLX, at the back is the cabin filter, and there's access um, to back here from there. So that's how we can route our wires into the glove box easily, um, the, the cover panel for the cabin filter. Uh, we'll just have to cut a little hole in one corner so that the wires can poke through and, and then we're good to go and it can sit nicely inside the glove box so you can have access to it. Okay, yeah, then we need to hook up a GPS antenna. Uh, they want it along the right side here, so we'll have to see how that's going to wire. We'll, we'll pop it somewhere along the far right side of the dash. There's a microphone. Need to hook up the microphone. And then it is time to test. We're gonna get those hooked up. All right, I've got my cables coming through the glove box now. Uh, they're coming, there's the cabin filter. And so I just ran them, I, sh I shone a light through the glove box until I could see it back here. And then I just pushed the, the first cable through by hand until I grabbed it, and then I tied the second one, this big harness here, um, to this length of cable and then just pulled it straight through. So that was pretty easy. Okay, so it pays to pay attention to what's in the box hidden in one side, which I didn't see, <clears throat> was the third cable I was supposed to connect. This is a U USB cable. And I'm assuming that's why my upper screen isn't working, so I'm just gonna pop this out again. Like there is a, oh, this is the um, uh, the USB port under the dash here. So I, we're unplugging that, and uh, I was reading on a forum. Apparently, there's an adapter out there that might uh, make that work, a, a splitter that would retain its function. But this is going to uh, kill that USB port. Second, second from the top is the right cable. That's the one. Yes, it is. All right, so you're gonna have to route this back through the glove box. But there we go. Okay, so I did that one in reverse. And it wasn't wasn't too bad, as long as you can get your hands back there. Firming of 
got the right one. And that's not it. That's the winner. In she goes. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Okay, second moment of truth. Putting to accessory. And there she is. I didn't get that. Could you try again? No, not you, Siri. Okay, so on my upper display, I've got... Oh, look at that. It's working. So this little knob, our, our knob, is how we control it. And there it is. So it is installed. It is functioning. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of setup process I'll have to go through, but I'll do that on my own. I hope this was helpful. Um, once again, this is for 2015-2016 Acura TLX installing Grom V-Line V2, uh, which has wireless CarPlay. So it's adding wireless CarPlay functionality, uh, which is even a step above the 2018 and 2019 TLXs. They don't have wireless. So there we go. Thanks, Grom.